Why on earth do we have to do this here? Why can't we do it someplace civilized like a bar? Should I get a cup of coffee or a drink? You have plenty of time to do your research on me. What'd you find out? One thing, I found out you're a bigger son of a bitch than I thought you were. So you do get something. All right? Who killed Aaron? Who killed Simone? And who wants Kendall dead? I am sorry, Mr. Cambius, or Slater, or whoever the hell you are. I have no idea who's after the women of fusion. At least not yet. So all this history you're bringing up really is not bring up anything. All, you handed it to me, remember? The only thing I got was the joy of chasing down one useless alias after another, but you already knew that. You do know you have more enemies in Caligula, right? Specifics, Ted. Why? You want me to stand here and give you specifics that you know better than I do? You want to waste more of my time? Fine, you want to play a game? I can play this game all night. Let's start with the fact that you got your brother to help you fake your own death, and then ended up in jail for uh, aggravated assault for only four days under an assumed name, which was okay because you took off with a lot of cash that belonged to the drug dealer in the cell next door. You did that under an assumed name. And uh, hey, let's not forget the, uh, your friend, the, the fight promoter, thought he fixed the fight only to find out it wasn't so fixed after all. So he lost his whole stake in his client. Or the backroom poker game that folded two minutes after you walked off with the guy's entire car dealership. And my personal favorite, the police chief. Remember him? <laughs> the guy wanted to serve you with an arrest warrant but couldn't because he got nailed by a news crew in a bordella two days before he got the chance. None of the people you mention are the killer. <laughs> Zach, every single one of these people could be the killer. And this is, these, this is just the highlights of your life before you became Zack Slater in the first place. You, you started your career by winning Casino in a card game. That ticked off a lot of people. Most notably, one Marshall Robner, the owner of the aforementioned establishment. A man who made a lot of threats against your life until he suddenly disappeared. I want to happen to Robner. I do. You want to know? Turns out after you screwed him over, he got some really bad debt to some really bad people. The kind of people think it's a good idea to shoot your kneecaps off. So you think he's connected to this? Are you kidding? He's not even on the list. He's living in Alaska under his own assumed name. He crochets coasters for a living. He's dying of emphysema. None of this is right. You know that, right? That's the first smart thing you said. But hey, you want to go on? I could go on. I got plenty of this garbage. And none of it's connected to the murders. You don't know that. And the only way you're going to know it is if you give me more time. I don't have any time. Fine. Then you solve it overnight. Kendall needs our help. Exactly. Exactly. So why don't you stop treating me like your pet monkey? Make me run around in circles after clues you dole out like the, like the breadcrumbs in the forest? Tell me what you want me to find. Can't do that. Either you tell me what I'm after, you tell me about the gardenias and the ribbons, or I give you my word, I can't help you. Come on, Zach. It's not like we haven't worked together before. I do remember something about a dead sadistic guy who was using innocent women's bodies as his own reproduction factory. Are you telling me we can't collaborate on avenging the deaths of a couple of our friends? What's that about? I was very specific as to what I needed from you. Find out about my past. You, you, Find out who this person is. Find out why he can't. And you can't even talk about it. You can't even mention the gardenias and the ribbons, can you? Okay, all right, you know what? Okay, say, say that you're right and I'm wrong. This isn't about some um, revenge for some shady deal. It's not about some sleaze bag or some drug dealer, okay? What this is is very personal. It's thorough. It's meticulous. And unless you tell me why, unless you tell me what you did to cause it, then whoever this is is going to go on killing innocent women, women that we care about. You're the one that's so worried about time, about Kendall's safety. Kendall's life is at stake. OK, so give me more to work with than just look into my past. What part of your past do you want me to look into? Which alias should I be focusing on? I'm not going to do your job oh, for you. You know what? Then I should just stand here and tell you to go right straight to hell. But I don't have that luxury. Because unlike some people I know, I'm not going to stand around and do nothing while an innocent woman gets killed. Especially somebody like Kendall. So we agree? No, we don't. On anything. Because you refuse to work with me. If you're the key 
to whoever killed Simone and Aaron. You better open your mouth. Is that true? Do you know who killed my sister? Don't let yourself get all worked up, okay, John? Don't, don't what? You just said that he could be the key to finding out who murdered my sister, and I'm... What do you know? Okay, Slater, please. Please. You got to tell me what you know. I don't know anything, not yet. Either one of us does. Speculating with spinning theory? No. No, it was not speculating. I know that you know no, something. No, it was a fight, okay? It was an argument. We're just looking at the leads and we're upset because we haven't got anything concrete. That's bull. It's the truth. It's bull. We will do whatever we can to find who killed your sister. We'll catch him. I give you my word, catch him. All right. Give me a word. Go find us a killer. Actually, you know what, Zach? I think we're gonna go back to my pointless search. Considering you've decided not to be of any help whatsoever. Thank you very not. Meet me again tomorrow. Why? Why should I bother? Now, where are you gonna want to do that? Some darkened parking garage? Once you get the answers, you'll understand. Oh, thanks a heap. Yeah. Say that again. Can you, wait, no, hang on a second. Turns out our meeting might not be so pointless after all. Give me everything you got. Start with the cause of death. Is that all you've got? Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks. Well? She went over the side of a balcony and died on the rocks below. She was wearing a white ribbon around her neck. And she had gardenias in her hand. You're right, I understand, Zach. I know she was. I know the connection between you and these murders. So you dug up the real story? Enough to figure out why you hired me. Don't expect the medal. Zach, like it or not, we're gonna have to talk about Amelia. Now that I know how she died, and what's probably in that sealed inquest report, the only thing I expect from you is to fill in the gaps. Oh, come on, Zach. You gave me a job to do. Look into your past, I've done it. I've got your connection to the fusion murders. It all fits. The white ribbon, the, the gardenias, the fact that Aaron and Simone died in their 20s the same way she did. I think you owe me a bigger picture. You know who she was? I'm sorry. That had to be tough for you. Similarities, you know, you got flowers and white ribbons, the way that Aaron died, Simone died, it was a message to me. The psycho out there is anticipating my fear. Kendall is the real target. I agree. Your wife's in a lot of danger. If you know anything, if you suspect anything, we have to bring this guy in. If I knew who it was, I wouldn't need you. There's got to be somebody somewhere who would want to dredge up the worst moment of your life, torture you with it, kill two innocent people, then go after Kendall. It's your job to find out. I'm trying to do my job. I want you to help me. Now, who was around when Amelia died? No one. No, come on. There had to be someone. Someone you confided in. Somebody I don't you confide in people. No one knows about this. Not even my wife.
You know, don't you? I love you more than anything in the world. Not anything, not anyone can ever take you away from me. I love you more than anything. More than anything. I love you. Not anything. Anyone can take you away. Not anything. Not anything. Anyone can take you away. Happy New Year. This better be important. Kendall. Zach? What? What is it? What's what's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine, but I, I need to see you. Okay, are you okay? You, you don't sound good. Are you sick? No, just have the, have the driver take you to the new house, okay? I have to go. I have to go. No, no, no. We're not finished Yes, here. we are finished. We're finished. We're done. We're kaput. If you still want, babe. Happy New Year, brother. Going on. What, what's, what's going on? You're, you're scaring me. Something about this place. It just it, it brings back uh, okay. things. Okay, and, uh, okay. I mean, I, then we don't we don't need this place. All right, we don't need this place. I love you for wanting to give it a shot, but I know it reminds you too much of your childhood. So there are things I haven't told you. Things you need to know. There there are things about my childhood I I haven't told you. I haven't told anybody. They're memories that, that I, I pushed so far away, and now with your, your dream house, they're all coming back. Um, She's beautiful. Am I supposed to recognize her? She was my mom. Hey, hey. How you doing? Heck of a way to bring in the new year, huh? Yeah, look at this. It's all tricked out. <laughs> Ordinarily, I think it'd be too cold out for the peanut, but oh. seeing baby new year makes me hopeful for 2007. Yeah. Look at you! Hey! <laughs> you can actually go out ice skating on the pond with his mother and his father, can he? Yeah, yeah, right now, but soon he's gonna be playing peewee hockey, I'm telling you. He's already got the uniform, the stick. Of course, it's a Red Wings uniform, but, you know, courtesy of Zach, what do you yeah. expect? He's a good stepfather, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Spike and him are close, you know, they're pretty tight. I guess we're, uh, we're lucky. Does Zach supply protection for both Kendall and Spike? Um, well, Kendall's got a bodyguard. Why would Spike need a bodyguard? He might not. You think my son is in danger? All these questions about Zach, about him being a stepdad, all of that, what's with that? I was hired to investigate the fusion murders. And you think Zach is involved? I hope not. He's the one who hired me. It's just that he thinks he's connected somehow. What kind of connection are we talking about here? I don't know yet. But until I do, if he were my child, I would get him away from Zach and away from Kendall. I'd get him out of their house, keep him with me. You've never talked to me about your mom. I couldn't talk about her. Well, you don't have to if you're not ready. It's not that, I'm, I'm, uh, it's hazy, you know, I can't remember things. What's, what's Hazy? I mean, do you remember her? Yeah, I do. She, she was, uh, she was beautiful, you know. She had so much energy and she can't, um, I can't do this. Zach, telling me will only help you. Okay, whatever you're going through, just let me share this with you. Uh, it's my mom, you know, I worshipped her. I, I, uh, 
I loved her, and I, there's, I couldn't, I couldn't have done that. There's, I couldn't, couldn't live with that. Dad, what are you talking about? I think I killed my mom. You actually believe that? I mean, how can you ever think that you killed your mother? I have these dreams. I just keep having these dreams. And I... what, what, what happened, Zach? Exactly what happened? I, I can, I can, I'm sorry, I, I, um, you, 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 I, Yes, you can, you can. You can do anything with me. I was with her when it happened. I saw her fall. She fell to her death because of me. How did it happen? How did your mother fall? I was just a kid. You know, I was five years old and she was standing there and and then she was gone. Well, then it was an accident. A terrible, horrible accident. Yeah, that's what it was. It's a terrible, horrible accident. That's what they told me. So they kept telling me. Look at their faces, you know. And they just, what are they saying? They just, let it go, just let it go. How do you let this go? How do you do that? Okay. Hmm? We do not have to do this alone. There's something missing here. It's always been something missing. The day my mom died, I... Uh, there's so many gaps, I can't remember anything. Okay, well, tell me what you do remember. Come on, Zach, I'm your wife. I will stand by you no matter what happens. Now, I know this is hard for you. But, but I, I'm here for you, so just tell me what you can. What if I did this? What if I killed my mom? You couldn't have. No, you know that for sure. Well, I do know that you weren't physically capable of pushing her over a ledge. You were five huh. years old. Five years old. You know, balance is something that even adults have a problem with. You know with what? I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm not. I don't need your help. I don't want your help, I'm sorry. It's, it's something. I, I just want to remember things. Okay, and I shouldn't have mentioned anything, so. Don't, 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 don't shut down on me. Please. Let it go, forget it. No, I'm not gonna forget it. I'm not gonna forget it, and neither will you. Now, this is something, you're pushing this down, and, and you, you need to do something. You, you've gotta find a way to Stop. deal with this. I've dealt with it. It's done, I'm fine. I'm right here. I'm fine. Now, what what did you see? I don't know. It's it's this place, something about this place. I remember things. You know, I, I was standing with my mom, and she had this garden. She loved her garden. She was such a beautiful woman. And she kept, you know, she would look at her garden and the flowers, and she would point them out, and then I, I would name them. Whenever I did, she... She would, she would put her hand on my chest and, and she would kiss me. But then, you know, I remember she, uh, she asked me about one and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what it was, but I, I said it wrong. And she kissed me anyway. I don't know. 
was yelling. You know, that somebody was, I don't know why or who it was, but that was yelling. It's yelling? Who, I mean, who was, was, what was it? Was, your, was it your mother? Do you have your mother? Uh, maybe. I don't know. She said, I, I don't think she was with me. Next thing I remember, she. No, she was with me. She was, and, and uh, I remember I was looking at her hands, and she, and she. She just looked. She looked frightened. You know, and she was standing right on the edge. And I, I think I, I, I went to hold, hold on. Zach, you are not responsible for this. And then she was on the rocks. She was just laying there, you know, and... Uh, she looked peaceful. She was sleeping. And I, I yelled for her to wake up. My mother died. The house was very quiet. Every room was quiet. All I could hear was people whispering. Till I walked in, and then that would stop. Look at me with this. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It wasn't. Kept everything out of the press. Just out of natural causes, it said. Nothing natural about this, huh? Why keep an accident secret? They said my mother fell because I made her lose her balance. Blame yourself know, for I this. Know, I, know. I don't remember anything. I just don't remember. remember the fall, I remember before the fall. It was, it was an accident. Okay? It was an accident. Please accept that. You can't do this to yourself after all these years. Well, I can't accept it. I can't forget it. The killer knows. What does the murderer have to do with your mother? What does he know? My mom was holding a gardenia and was wearing a white satin ribbon that day. Like Simone and Aaron? Yeah. So whoever it is knows about her and how she died. Well, maybe it was a coincidence. No, it's no coincidence. Someone sent me a note. A note. You murdered her. Meaning your mother. I think the implication is that these women died because of me. Why you think that I'm in the most danger? Your friends were killed. But there's a message in that for me. And I need to find out what it is. Before he kills me.
What is that for? Get you packed. What? No, Sam. I made it clear at the house. Whoever's behind these murders is sending a message to me. You're in danger. I'm not scared. You should be scared. I gotta get you out of no, here. Put you I someplace said, safe. I said no. What? I said no, Zach. I have tried living without you, and I hated every single second of it. Now, I'm not starting our new year together by leaving you. You know, it didn't take long for me to fall in love with you. Not really. And when we finally admitted how we felt about each other, I knew that it was right. But what I, what I didn't realize was that you own my heart. And I realized that the day that I was in the hospital and I woke up and saw my little boy for the first Give time. Give me the suitcase, Zach, please. when I was unconscious, you knew exactly what I wanted. You, you, you read my heart and you, you gave it a voice. And you, you fought for me, you fought on my behalf, and I want to do the same thing for it's you right now. It's not the same. You could get killed doing this. Zach, I will not leave you. And I'm not giving you a choice. I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you someplace safe. I'm not going anywhere without you, okay? Uh, Zach, I trust that you will keep me safe. That's it. What? I finally understand you. Maybe you should stop speaking for a minute because no, you don't know what no, you're talking you about. You make complete sense to me. Finally, oh. I, I understand you. I do. I understand what drives you and why you, you felt compelled to save Maria and Julia and Dixie. What are you, my shrink then? No, no, I'm your wife. And for the first time in our entire marriage, you make complete sense to me. And I think that's great. Now, you're going to help me pack. I'll do it myself. But we're leaving tonight. No, no we're not. We're not. Come on, Zach. Zach look, what? Just stop a second and look at me and listen to me, please. Now, we can argue about this until 2008, but I'm not going anywhere, not now, because you need me. But you're in danger right now. No, I get it. Okay, I get why you can't stand to see a woman in trouble without helping her, and I get why you feel like you have to save everybody. Uh, it's, it's because of what happened when you were five years uh, old. I don't think that's enough. No, listen, there is, I, there is no way I am leaving you to fight this alone. Now, whoever is doing this, he, he's not doing it to hurt Fusion. He's doing it to hurt the both of us. But we're in this together, you and I. And we will fight, and we will win. You and I will save each other. Zach, please don't shut me out. This affects the both of us. So please just let me help you. I need you to leave tonight. Please, I'm begging you. If I lose you, I don't know what this I'm is, gonna... This is what I'm trying to tell you. You will not lose me, I promise you. You can't. No one can take me away from you. You don't know that. I know that we are together and that we're strong. And I don't care what they do. I don't care what they try. Nothing will change this. It's always only us. Please don't worry. This will all work out. Yeah, I want that too. We will have a very happy 2007. We will. Come on. Cheers.